dimensioning with datum levels in AutoCAD. To do this we use the coordinate system of dimensioning. Uh, we are able to dimension datum levels in the y-axis or relative coordinate dimensions in the x-axis. Uh, these uh, dimensions are done relative to the position of the uh, the UCS. Uh, we're concerned today with datum levels in the y-axis, so I will concentrate on these. Uh, to start with, we need to position the UCS to the required datum level we wish to uh, be relative to. Uh, so I wish to dimension three features relative to the 40 datum level. So we click on the View tab on the ribbon and in Coordinates section we select the Origin tool. We could type coordinates in or we can pick them with the mouse. So I'm going to move the UCS to the 40 datum level by selecting it with the mouse. So, And there you can see the UCS has moved. We return to the Home tab on the ribbon and in the Annotation selection section select Ordinate. And I will set an ordinate for the first feature. You can see as I move the cursor I can either show a, a um, horizontal ordinate relative to the UCS or a vertical ordinate with respect to the UCS which is the one I'm selecting now 20 above the datum level. I'll repeat that for the other two features above the 40 level. Now I wish to mention a further similar three features but with respect to the 170 datum level. So we go to the View tab on the ribbon again and again go to the UCS Origin tool and I will now move the UCS to the datum 170 level. Return to the Home tab and select Ordinate and repeating what we did above the 40 level I will now do with respect to the 170 level. So we have a set of ordinates relative to the 40 level now and also a set of ordinates relative to the 170 level. Finally we must return the UCS to its default or world position. Click on the View tab on the ribbon and go to where the uh, named UCS levels are uh, kept and click on World and that returns the UCS to its normal world or default position. That's all for now. Bye!